This is Jeff with Eternity Shore, and I'm just wrapping up about a half a day of work here at the marina. The sun is setting behind me. It's a rather pleasant early evening, probably about 45 degrees right now. Today's main objective was to change the lower gear oil on our outdrives. I did this last year, so I meant I didn't film everything, but just filled what filmed what I thought was most important. As the sun is setting, I still have a mess over there I have to clean up. So let me show you what I did today. Let's see what color this comes out. Come on, puppy. Here we go. Should be greenish based on last year. Okay. Looks pretty good. All right, this is the port side. That also looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna let this run for about two hours because in my experience it takes a really long time for this stuff to drain. Both outdrives are sufficiently drained. I let them go for a couple hours so I'm running out of daylight actually. Um, so now we're gonna pump the Volvo Penta synthetic gear oil up into it. If you remember last year, I wasn't able to get the bolt off here, which you're supposed to fill the gear oil until the oil comes out of there. I still can't get either of the bolts off. So we're gonna have to use the dipstick, put the dipstick in to judge how much oil. We used about uh, two quarts last year. Volvo Penta has a special adapter I needed to get, which I used last year. We'll keep checking this. Probably put about a quart and a half in here. It's not to the bottom yet. So I'll put another half a quart in. All right, two and a half quarts. Uh, two and a half quarts is perfect. So now we'll switch from the port to the starboard. There is a little gasket on this screw that goes in 
uh, to the, the drain plug and the gasket is fine, but you should always check it to make sure it is fine. Gotta get this guy ready. So I'm just remembering that last year, I figured out that I should put the plastic bag, a plastic bag over the spline, the shaft rather, so that my hands don't constantly rub up against the grease because we're gonna still sand and prime this. So I'm not putting the props back on. So I'll do that on the starboard side. I don't know what I was thinking. Why is it that I always end up with a mess at the end of the day? All right, I gotta clean up. As always, thanks for watching. I enjoy your comments. And don't forget, just four more months before boating begins again for most of us. Ciao.